Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Tales from the Rails, Episode 8, The Careless Twins. It was a beautiful day on the island disorder. Bill and Ben were at Brendam Docks. They were helping shunting Murdoch's long goods train. Come on, Ben. We need to get this job done so the job and hat will not get mad at us. Don't talk to me like that. You're the one that's pushing too slow. No, you're the one in the back that's pushing too fast. I can barely even move a wheel. Well, maybe you should get going, said Ben. Hurry up, you two, shouted Murdoch. All right, all right, said Ben. What a bossy boiler he is. Want to play on tricking him, said Bill. Why don't we, said Ben. The two started coupling the train to Murdoch. And with that, they uncoupled. Murdoch was relieved to get out of the docks from the twins. Ha ha, said Bill. Have fun with that faulty coupling, eh? Yeah, said Ben. We picked it out just for you. The dock manager was there when Bill and Ben rolled up slowly. Ah, finally. Two open engines, he said. One of you needs to take a train over at Great Waterton Station. One of you needs to go pick up eggs from Farmer McCall Farms to take it here. These trains are already late because the engines that were supposed to take them didn't show up. Now hurry up, you two. But we like to work together, said Bill. Yes, yeah, said Ben. Well, that's not going to work out today, is it? said the dock manager. Off you go now. Come on, let's go. Get those jobs done with. All right, all right, said Bill and Ben. Ben set off for Great Waterton to pull the troublesome trucks to the quarry. Bill headed off to Farm McCall's farm to go get the eggs for the ducks. Ben soon arrived at the Great Waterton station sightings. He coupled up to his train of trucks and popped away. Ben came storming up the line while Freddy was coming up the line. He had to screech at the stop at a V-switch. Hey, watch where you're going, bud, said Ben. What, said Freddy? Watch where I'm going. You need to watch where you're going. But Ben was already in the distance. Ben was being reckless and careless while taking the route. He didn't care what the trucks were doing and what he was doing at all. Ben soon arrived at the quarry. But Ben wasn't thinking again. And so... When he arrived at the quarry, he left his train right in front of Boulder Mountain. But Mavis was shunting in a siding. When she came out, she found trucks laying in her path. Oh dear, Ben, come back. But Ben was puffing in the distance already, again. Oh dear, said Mavis, this might be a while. Neville had seen the whole situation of Ben leaving his trucks in Mavis's path and raced to the assistance. Neville soon arrived to the quarry and picked up the trucks and moved them out of Mavis's way. Why, thank you, Neville. What a kind engine you are. Thanks, Mavis. Thanks for the comment, but it was just a nice deed. Neville started to puff out, but then he heard a loud, loud noise. What is that? He said. It was Bill with his train of eggs. He wasn't being careful at all. Duck was pulling a train of passengers and Bill came racing by. Whoa, said Duck. Watch it there. Bill hit Neville with a giant bang. Neville went flying up the track and Bill came tumbling down. The egg car and the caboose cramped up from the impact and the eggs went flying. The eggs landed right on Neville. It made a terrible mess. Way to go, clumsy wheels, said Ben. Now I'm going to have to go collect a new load of eggs, thanks to you. Dennis arrived with the breakdown train. The mess would take a while to clean up. But Neville just laid there in astonishment for what had just happened. As soon as Ben was put back on the rails... He raced away to go get another load of eggs. 
Neville still laid there in astonishment. Meanwhile, Ben had no idea what had just happened. Actually, Ben was looking for his brother Bill, but couldn't find him anywhere. So he kept looking on. Reneas was at Elsbeth Station at the time. The guard blew his whistle, and Reneas started to set off. Just as Reneas was about to leave, Ben came rushing through the station. Whoa, said Reneas. I had the clear track there. But Ben just wouldn't listen. Ben ended back up at Great Waterton Station. Arthur was there. You better watch out, said Arthur. Murdoch's runaway train is coming through. Hooray, said Ben. Bill and I's plan worked. He chuckled away. Arthur was left there in surprise. Wait, what, said Arthur? You played a trick on Murdoch? Just as Ben popped over a small hill, Murdoch's runaway train was coming his way. Oh no, said Ben. This can't end too well. He started rushing backward as the train came thundering his way. Ah, said Ben. Look out! Look out for what, said Arthur. Then he saw it. Oh no. Trucks coming right his way. The single man saw the situation going in action. So he decided to switch the line right in time. Phew, said Arthur. That was close. The trucks raced after Ben. Catch him, bump him, throw him off the rails, they shouted. Ben almost extensive racing down the line. Hey, watch it. Spencer then saw the trucks. Oh no, this can't be good. Bolster Road was coming in with a load of fish. Just then, Hector came flying in and landed on top of Bolster Road. Ah, I'm sinking, help, help, help! I'm sinking! Captain was laughing. Ha ha, serves you right, Bolster Road, for being grumpy all those years. Just then a boxcar came flying into the ocean. The wave was so huge it flew Captain out of the water. Uh. Captain landed something brutal all the way on the other side of the harbor. Ben was still racing with fear. He stopped on a level crossing at the wrong time. It was Bill with another load of eggs. Here we are, Perio. Come on, let's go. Let's not be late. Why do we even need these stupid cabooses? You can't even see a thing in front of you. And he was right. It was a terrible accident. Sadly, the crew was at Brindom. They were picking up the terrible mess that had happened. No one was able to help Bill and Ben. So it was the breakdown train pulled by Percy that had to clean up the entire mess. Sir Topham Hatt soon arrived. He was very cross indeed. Bill and Ben, you two twin engines will be shut up in the shed for a week. Think of what you have done. You were too careless on the rails today. You have caused too many accidents, and there's much much money to be spent on repairs. The harbor and the docks are both in complete wreck. Bolstrode almost sank today. You should be ashamed of yourselves. But the twins just laughed. They did not enjoy their time in the sheds. They watched the trains go by and all the happy engines. They wished they had never caused that much trouble on the island. But the two still had one more plan up their boilers.